Hey, we are back with some more Sonics. And last episode, I said I was going to look into a trade for another wing player. And I think we found it. So, TJ Warren was unhappy in Indiana. And so we offer up a 2021 first from Brooklyn, a 2025 first from us, Unprotected, Jared Culver. And Jake Lehman, two players that I personally didn't like in that first game. We go, make the trade, and I was sort of shocked that they actually agreed to it. Because um, usually when I try these trades, they don't agree to them, but this one they did. Um, so yeah, uh, he wasn't all that happy there in Indiana. I just went through, looked through all the players, and he was uh, aggravated or whatever it said about his morale. He wanted out. And we get our new second best player, and we have a pretty decent big three. Um, actually, I shouldn't drink Dr. Pepper before I record episodes, so... Immediately, TJ Warren jumps right into that starting lineup. Um, he has really come along strong these past um, you know, these past two years, I think, in the NBA. Uh, especially what he was doing out in the, out in the bubble. Uh, he was just putting up big numbers, and yeah. So three level score, which is terrible for my career, but how we play the game, it's all good. So we also um, needed another backup point guard um isaiah thomas we go to him uh, says he kind of has some interest but then he doesn't he says no i want more money so this is why this is one of the issues with my league that they need to fix is that guys like this will just sit in free agency because they never agree to any sort of terms um so we signed jaron grant immediately become our backup point guard um over i believe um, over, I believe, uh, Evan Turner, who would, uh, sometimes play at that point. He still does. I need to get rid of Evan Turner. He's so slow, but we come into this game, uh, taking on the Bucks. I forgot the record, but it was looking pretty nice. Here's the first play we run here for TJ Warren. First play as a Sonic is a slam dunk. And I need to start getting in this playbook a little bit more and seeing what I need to do, uh, you know, um, just to better fit it for this team and how I want them to play. Um, you see right here, some nice passing Warren to Russell to Towns. So already our new big three is sort of working out fine. We're able to turn the corner here on Chris Middleton. Um, one of the AI, one of the just weird offensive AI things is James Johnson just running directly into the paint, not even respecting that someone's driving to the rim. Uh, I don't respect Drew, not... Eric Bledsoe's space. I called him Drew Bledsoe. Uh, I don't respect his space. Uh, he gets a steal, drives, and kicks it out to DiVincenzo in the corner. I don't respect that Giannis is the reigning defensive player of the year. And uh, he just blocks Carl Anthony Towns right there. And then he uh, gets some tough defense from Brooke Lopez. And then Giannis comes out on the other end and hits a mid-range jumper. And we uh, take a timeout right away uh, to sort of get things in check. And then I make a really bad pass right there. And you see here, Eric Bledsoe, I almost said Drew again, um, able to get that layup. So we come right back after that possession, and TJ Warren gets right to the rim. Super nice. Uh, I took one of your guys' suggestions. This was, I last time I uploaded the series like two weeks ago. But someone did suggest putting like PayPal. I hope I didn't um, hurt your ears by saying PayPal. Uh, putting PayPal or some sort of company on here for to get the sponsored. And I did do that, so we got PayPal on board. And uh, Juan Aaron Gomez hitting that three. Man, I've thought about making him our starting uh, four, but I do like that spark he provides off the bench as Jacob Evans able to put down the jam right there. And he would make the free throw. Or, I mean, I would make the free throw, but you know what I mean. I'll, I'll, it's weird to talk about these players in third person and then first person, but either way, he comes back down and we hit a three with him because they just sort of sagged off. Um, you're going to see some more weird, like, just AI things. And a lot of the AI in this game, um, a lot of it comes from my career. And when I say it comes from my career, a lot of it feels like, okay, this is definitely designed because it's like, we don't want you like getting too much badge progress. You'll see later in the game, um, here's D'Angelo Russell. Just corner three. So many threes get given up in this game. I think partly is because 
the AI in this game just like does not want you to like driving to the rim all that much. Like they'll sort of pack the paint. Um, you can still get to the paint um, as you saw right there, but yeah, they don't want you getting to the rim, um, and they'll sort of just give up a lot of threes. But right now, uh, as I say that, of course, I'm getting to the rim with D'Angelo Russell. Um, here's George Hill driving in. That's not a good look right there, but he didn't have too many options. So we come down the court again, and man, this court looks really nice. Uh, nice release there, and a nice second quarter for D'Angelo Russell as I almost throw up my Dr. Pepper. And uh, there's a nice little foul right there. That was a weird animation because I felt like I got pulled back into Blood Cell so that animation could happen. You could just feel it in the game. And there's, you know, as much as I like this game, when I do play it, I don't rage as much as I did with NBA 2K20. It, it, it's mostly an enjoyable play session. Stuff like that just sort of boggles my mind. Is that that it's still in this game? Is just all this invisible wall stuff. And you see right here, uh, that double team right there that they brought, and uh, that's an issue in this game. Is that it's just the amount of double teams that they're willing to sort of. Nice play right there by TJ Warren. Um, but the amount of double teams that in this game, you'll see TJ Warren eventually does get double teamed himself. I don't know what the trigger is, but I think it's around like 12 to 13 points. Like once you score that many points, you're getting doubled. And you see here, uh, Carl Anthony Towns, he's on fire. I believe from like a block or something like that. I didn't show it because it wasn't that interesting. But he gets on fire, and of course they're going to double the guy who's on fire right now. Or they're going to send an extra man at him. But some of the double teaming principles in this game are just so irresponsible that it just gives up so many shots that are just like an NBA team. Are, are, they're just not going to give those up like that. As we give up a alley-oop to Giannis, they're back within 12. And I think this might have been what I was talking about. Um, you know, as we're just sitting here passing the ball around. You see, for whatever reason, and I kind of understand that. But it leaves, like, two guys wide open. You did have a mismatch there on Towns, but there's... You know, see right here, you have Towns and uh, Lopez, and Ilyasova comes to help on the double, but that just leaves the defense down, and that lets a three open for TJ Warren. So we get the ball back to Towns, and then they leave Beasley open in the corner for three. Like, if it's Brooke Lopez, you're probably not going to send an extra man on Carl Anthony Towns. You're just not going to do that. But in this game, there's just something about it where they're just going to send so many doubles at you as one air Gomez hits a three. In this third quarter, we were just going off for three. Um, and I get a nice steal here on Giannis. I see he's being somewhat lazy with the ball. Stop, pop, three is good. And just nailing that one. Um... So yeah, a lot of green releases in this game. I feel like in this game I had more green. You see, they send a double again. That leaves Evan Turner open for three. I even shoot the three with him. And we're able to hit it. So that's super nice. Um, we're here in the fourth quarter a little bit. And you see, once again, overly aggressive defense. Too much help defense. And that's just leaving so many opportunities for three-pointers. Jaron Grant passed the Towns. Too easy. Had the mismatch on Pat Connington. And, uh... Here's Jaron Grant again. We're gonna stop. We're gonna find Beasley here. He's gonna find Towns. Once again, they double and just leaves a guy open in the corner for three, which is just terrible in today's NBA. That's the easiest shot in the league. We end up defeating the Bucks 112 to 81. And yeah, that was a good victory. I'm gonna have to mess with their the CPU sliders, I think, just to get their their offensive output up a little bit more. But their first game for TJ Warren was 16 points, and he actually, look at that field goal, 7 for 7. So he was on fire in this one. He was happy to get out of Indiana. 23 from Russell and 27 from Towns. So we're going to simulate a few games here, and I was looking at what games I wanted to play. And um, I decided to go with that Lakers game on January 23rd, where we're going to simulate here. And uh, looks like the trade is doing wonders for us. We're getting a lot of victories here in the row, which is great. Um, into January, which is weird because I think into January, like, all right, we're into like the meat of the season, but we're not. This is still like really like the first month of the season. We get a trade offer. I'm not interested in it really all that much right now. Um, so, yeah, I always remember this is a condensed schedule, at least in the first year. Um, 
So, uh, some guys are going back to the G League. Uh, I don't think we really saw any of them play. So, I'm just going to send them back down. Once again, G League integration is something we've been asking for now for like two years. Uh, that'd be really cool. So, there we go. Uh, the Lakers are going to take on the Supersonics. Lakers sitting there at 15-8. and eight, And the Sonics sitting there at 17-4. and four. So, pretty nice record right now. I think the TJ Warren trade, I think it really puts us in the mix at the top of the conference. But we still need to get the sort of bottom half of this roster in place. So, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Come back for more Sonics, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.